Good morning. This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. Overseas Workers Welfare Deputy Administrator Moka Uzon is again the subject of debate and discussion in social media after meeting repatriated overseas workers in a large crowd in Lian, Batangas. Uson posted photos on Facebook over the weekend showing her facilitating an event in an open space area with a crowd of overseas workers. Netizens were quick to point out that Uson failed to impose social distancing measures. Uson shot back at critics saying they observed proper protocol in their visit to the quarantine facility in Batangas. She said they, they were merely handing out hygiene kits and checking on their repatriates' well-being. Uson says that OWA is still looking for possible temporary accommodations for thousands of repatriates expected to be back home amid the ongoing pandemic. The trade department is eyeing three, oh, I'm sorry, 30 billion pesos in additional funding to help more micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs in the country that were affected by the ECQ. Talking to One News' The Chief, Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez says the department has developed a program with Land Bank and the Development Bank of the Philippines for the 30 billion peso lending fund to help small businesses get back on their feet. DTI's financing arm, the Small Business Corporation, has previously set up only 1 billion pesos for affected MSMEs under the Pagbabago at Pagasenso program. Businesses qualified for the program can borrow up to 500,000 pesos depending on their asset size. Loans under the program will also have an interest rate of half a percent uh, every month. <laughs> para para talagang ma-support yung pati medium and pati yung mga large na naapektuhan talaga rin ng ng ano ngayon no ng uh, situation kaya we are uh, actually we've developed a program with uh, the DDP Land Bank na mas lakihan yung pondo something like 30 billion ang portfolio mm -hmm. that can be lent out also to the SMEs Metro Manila policemen have been embroiled in uh, separate controversies of alleged uh, power abuse in recent days. But, but according to NCRPO Chief Debold Sinas, there may be a need to give them a break to check on their mental health as well. In a virtual press conference on Tuesday, Sinas says police officers have been in, on duty for as much as 45 days straight. He says long hours on the job amid the global pandemic may take a toll on their mental stability. The NCRPO's uh, chief's uh, call comes after reports of supposed police brutality amid the lockdown period. Earlier, uh, ex-Army officer Winston Ragos, who was said to be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, was shot dead by police in Quezon City. Sinas is now requesting for additional men from the PNP to augment their current force, manning various checkpoints in Metro Manila. Kaya kami nang hingi ng reinforcement kasi 45 days straight na po yung mga polis ng NCRPO nagagwardya. Kailangan din siguro ng konting uh, reprieve or kailangan ng konting pahinga. In other news, three drug suspects were arrested in the bypass operation in Balancas, Valenzuela City. Authorities recovered around 70 grams of crystal meth or shabu worth 470,000 pesos and cell phones. The suspects will face charges for violating the Comprehensive Drugs Act as well as violating quarantine protocols. A non-profit charity-based organization helps feed families in Cainta Rizal amid the health crisis. For breakfast, the group Kids International Ministries prepared porridge, champorado and oatmeal for residents in poor communities. Members and volunteers aim to cook around 32,000 meals for the entire day including lunch and dinner. The group says it has held feeding programs for 30 communities across Metro Manila, including Baseco Compound and Tondo. The Kids International Ministries is looking to continue their project until the end of the enhanced community quarantine. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Ed Lingao, and we are One News.